another exciting episode of Jurassic World Alive! Yes, yes, we have got some big news. As you can see, it is snowing on the ground in the app. Yes, not maybe not where you are in particular, especially not where I am yet, but you never know. Uh, we have so much stuff to go over because the, this new update, um, we're about to see what the new pass is in about nine hours. So there'll probably be two videos up today. One covering that one and then one covering all the new creatures as well, which is this one. This one's basically going to be the main chunk of today's video because we have new dinosaurs that have been added to the game and not just, you know, maybe one, two, but we've got freaking one, two, three, four, five, six. These dinosaurs aren't just regular dinosaurs. No, this thing is freaking Geminidus, oh, uh, an apex that could be. I mean, its moveset has kind of been leaked out there. Uh, or not leaked it. They, they put it out there and it looks like it might be a flock killer So out of all the dinosaurs this one is probably most definitely gonna be one you want to put on your team You've also got this is little, little cutie the Spinoceratops if you remember that camp Cretaceous remember Am I getting non flashbacks? Yes. Uh, Camp Cretaceous. Uh, <laughs> we have this guy. I'm hoping that it, le it at least looks like one of them from there because there was two Spinoceratopses. There was like a white one and... Were they both white with red eyes? I know one was. Um, so it'd be interesting if they do that because that would be quite a cool looking dinosaur uh, rather than it just looking like a green or a brown. Um, not only that, but you've got this friggin' Halloween dinosaur. Apparently, they didn't release this for Halloween. This would have been the perfect thing to have released for Halloween with Indian Emmys. Maybe the original plan was, and that's why we're getting two Apexes instead of one. I don't know. Then you've got this freaking horrifying thing, uh, which is made out of the... Is it the Tigia? Oh, try... Tog... Tragodistis. Yes, that's it. But it's also made out of a level... 20 level 20 red the atrociraptors have a lot of hybrids because not only do you have that but this one the pyrex um or the pyro pyrorixes is made out of a level 20 ghost um so it's making these atrociraptors highly coveted apparently no matter oh there we go no matter how many times i click it does not want to level itself up now i only have 5,000 dna out of this so i'm not expecting to make a level 20 but we may as well level them up and see just about where we can get to. Yeah, maybe we'll be able to get a pump. I'm really not too sure. But it's a, it's an exciting time now in the Jurassic franchise. Because we're getting this update. And we're also getting in Jurassic World Evolution 2 the Malta update. Which is adding maps. If you haven't seen that, I've got two videos on the channel. Or at least one's like a species profile, which is really a video. Uh, the other one is analyzing all the you know, details we're going to get, as well as, like, the free update, too. So we're level 18. Ooh, we're, we're going to make a couple of pops, definitely. But I'm not expecting enough to really warrant um, unlocking the, the dinosaur. At least I don't think so. 750. Do a level 20. There you go. Ghost. Ooh, 2,000. That's, I mean, it's a lot, but when you consider it's 200 a pop, so we can only do 10 pops. And best case scenario, we maybe get 20 each. That's 200. I don't think so. And not only that, but we need a level 15 Power Raptor. And we got, oh God, here we go. Power Raptor as well. Let's speed this up. Look at this. Look at Power Raptor's jaw, right? Look at the bottom jaw. It goes, uh, and it's like, uh. <laughs> what happened? It goes, uh, <laughs> to the side. What happened there? Let's just watch it. It's like, it looks all normal. Yep, that's fine. And then, uh, ah, oh, oops. I spent a thousand DNA on that when I really didn't need to. Sweet, cool. <laughs> Whoopsie daisies. So we need a level 20 of this thing. Oh, okay. Well, could have probably been able to do a times 20 uh, thing to it there, but I've just wasted a thousand DNA getting to, from level 15 to level 16. So that was clever of me. Like I said, I mean, this is welcome to, you know, Jurassic World Alive, where you need dinosaurs that are certain levels and you just aren't gonna get them because they're made out of, or the new hybrids are made out of dinosaurs that haven't been around for too long deliberately so you can't and you keep on playing it which is a bit of a shame i i, I mean it's I, I, I guess it's all right for certain parts of the game to be like that you know it's always nice to have an achievement to work towards but you know i don't know i don't think the whole game should be yeah, it's like, a, you, it's like an uphill struggle. You're constantly looking at the mountain you're walking up towards and you're never going to get there because it constantly shifts. It's brilliant. <laughs> and there we go. A level 19. We are one level away. We 
I mean, even with a thousand Pyraptor DNA, I don't think we would have, you know, that's another five more pops. We wouldn't have got to level 20 even if I hadn't have uh, wasted that 1,000. But we're getting closer. We got this guy who's already level 30, but it's made out of things that are commonly and readily available. I want to get this guy because we have, I've got so much Sinoceratops and I've got so much Spinosaur Gen 2. If there's one dinosaur that I find out and about in the wilderness, or I find it randomly spawning, it's Spino Gen 2. Doesn't matter where I am, Japan, UK, God knows. I always find a Spinosaur Gen 2. But Spinosaurus, I'm hoping that it's like lightish blue with red eyes, like a whitish, grayish. Mm. That would look so good. I, I, come on. At least, at least, oh, there it is, a 50. We could probably get Spinosaurus at level um at level 20 however it might have a hybrid and that's why i can't see the other two let's have a look uh or, eh, it might do I'm not sure. oh yes it is oh my god that is brilliant yes oh i love it oh man yes oh i don't want to take a screenshot of the rate this up <laughs> yes oh my god i'm so happy does it have a hybrid no it doesn't right so heavy strike Cleanse, reduce damage and vulnerability. Target lowest, okay. Brace, ooh, it's a priority. So you cleanse yourself of whatever nerfs or, sorry, debuffs, so bleeding or anything like that. You heal, 100%, 100% damage stat. What? I mean, I'm assuming that's 100, right? You're bracing for a big hit. Increase armor by 50%. Oh, lethal wound. Oh my God, okay. It's a 33%, it's the bad wound. It will kill you if you don't cleanse or swap out. Instant rend? Uh, opponent with most positive effects removes shields, inflicts 0. 0.6. I mean, you could brace, right? And give yourself armor, which you've already got 30%. So it says increase armor 50%. So it must be you get 80% armor, right? What is this? Swap in stunning strike. Okay, that's fine. And stunning obstruction. <gasps> Immune to stun, of course. Immune to uh, some damage reduction. Immune to... Mm -hmm. What is going on? Excuse me? Uh, excuse me? Uh, oh, oh my god, we need it. I want to get this thing to level 30, man. Oh my god, yeah. Is it a waste of coin? Maybe. But I don't care. 5,900. <laughs> and again! Again! Do I need that much? Maybe. Will it get a hybrid in the future? Maybe. But wow. Oh, wow. I've run out of Sinoceratops DNA now. Whoopsie daisies. Um, well, that was 500 uh, pops. So we have 11,000 DNA. It doesn't have anything to, you know, take on swarms. But, hmm, who knows? Well, again, I mean, let's have a look. What I mean, what's it? It speeds 180 and it's not so bad. What is this good for taking on is the question. It's not too great in Indonemies because Indonemies can go for the cloak and then just like max hit it and kill it uh, and go through all that armor. So bracing doesn't help there really. Ah, damn. The fact that it can't really take on swarms and it can't really take on uh, Indonemies, even though Indonemies isn't really seen too much. Ugh, it's just not quite there for me. Damn, damn. I thought it would have been, but actually looking at it realistically, maybe it's not. It might be really good against other creatures. Anyway, here we have it. Geminanidus. Geminanidus. This is supposed to be, I've heard through the grapevine, the killer of all flocks. Maybe you do not need, you know, flocks in your team anymore if you just have this. I mean, one just to be safe, maybe a comp raptor, scorpion, something like that, something pretty decent. But if it has an armor piercing, hits all attack that does loads of damage, that's it. Not even the scorpions would be safe from that. Because last time we did the Indonemies, we very rarely got tens. It was mainly like twenties or higher. Um, but we, I think we've got two tens there, so we're over a third of the way there. Oh, okay, okay, that'll do, that'll do. Keep that going. Stego does some actually running out of what? We put 100. Oh, 100 pop. Heck yeah. 80, 60, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50. Oh, a lot of 50s. Very good. Oh, no, no, we're out of Geminidus DNA. Well, you know what they say. A 50 pop. I don't know who says that. And in fact, if they do say that to you, I'd, I'd run for the hills, really. Because uh, <laughs> they're not in their right mind. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Geminidus. Ooh. I'm excited. Come on, just give me the 30s. Give me the, don't, don't do three tens. Don't do that. Come on. We've come this far. Thank you. Thank you, Jam City. Ludia, I don't even know what to call you anymore. I should, one should be like the bad cop. Germanitis. 
Here it is, the newest Apex. Oh, yes. 6,600 health, 1,200 attack, and 30% armor. But let's have a look. Oh, look, he's got the beak like a uh, Stegosaur does. Oh, wow. All right. So, slowing resilient strike. So, removes dodge, removes cloak, increases speed, and makes them vulnerable and reduces speed for 50%. So, yeah, that's very good. Okay, the group disarming rampage. Here we go. For flocks, it hits all of them, uh, reduces their speed for four attacks um, and two turns, reduces armor by 50%. So, the thing is, I think the scorpions can cleanse themselves whenever they're hit, so it's not so bad. Uh, shielding alert. Here we go. Now, if you're... Ooh, if you're threatened, then it goes through all armor, goes through all cloak and dodge, and hits everybody. That's kind of what Gemini Titan had. And Harden, interesting. So it's not a priority. You can use it from turn one. You cleanse yourself, increase your armor by 50% for four turns. And hold on! This is new piercing group counter. This is it. This is the flock counter. So increases your armor 10% every time you're hit, and your and the attack goes through. All dodge or bypassing dodge, not cloak, doesn't say cloak, um, but hits all of them. Wow, wow, ooh, damn. And it's immune to stun, which is good. It's immune to damage reduction by 50%, which is great. So the fact that it only says dodge is for comps or raptor. Um, you will be like 50%, you know, it's gonna go for playful pounds. You're gonna be damage reduced by 50%, but then it's only 25% because you got the resistance. Um, there is, oh, reg oh! Armor decreasing, decreases are reduced when applied against this creature. Oh my god. This thing, you cannot pierce its armor. That is, yeah, 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 100%. I mean, you can, you can increase your armor by 50%, putting you to 80% armor. And out of that 80% armor... They can only take 75%, oh, sorry, 25% off it. Oh, we, we've we got to give this guy a ride. We, we've got to we've got to take it around to Nublar Shores for a little test drive, surely. You can't really do, it will never have less than, what is it? Like 20% armor, ever. You will never be able to get through that. So that means that its health increase that it's already got is going to stay there. Um, so maybe putting a ginormous amount of health isn't necessarily needed because i mean if you did do it yeah it's going to stay alive for a while but the fact that if you just put all attack on it it's going to do a lot of damage and you're not going to take too much so here we go at level 27 it gets another 360 attack and the more attack you put on it the more damage it does with its counter and the more damage it does with its all of its attacks like now it's 1260 instead of 1200 we can even just go for a five pop right off the bat. Oh, a 50 and a 40. Oh, that was it. Five pops and we did it. We got it to level 28. Wow. Okay, let's get it to 28. Taking its health, 7,276. Now we need two hundo. We can do another five pop. Uh, that one wasn't as good. Almost halfway to level 29. Amazing how quickly you can level it up when you can just level an apex up. Yeah, there it is. We're, we're definitely going to get at least. We need an, we need 150 to get three pops, and we've got three attempts here. Actually, we're running out of Diplodocus DNA. Never mind the hybrid. We can only do two from Diplodocus. Yeah, okay. So we can't do two. Yeah, that's it. Two more. Two more either side. Oh, and there it is. There's the 60. That's what you like to see. And the final pop. Can we get that 30 to make it four? Oh, 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 well, you know what? We got the 60. I'm happy with that. We're 20 off. Another pop with that. So, Geminidus, we can do three. I highly doubt we're going to get it to level 29. There we go. Exactly halfway. But, you know, from level 26, 27, 28, and almost level 29. If we get the hundo now, could you imagine? That would have been amazing. And, oh, we got one more. We got one more. Cat. You know, I'm not asking for 100 or 90, just 80. Would be good. Or a 30. There we go. Just a 50 more. Oh, damn. It's it's going to be good, but this thing is going to be nuts. So before we get into the battles, how about we look at what's coming up in this week's event for you to dart? So, I mean, you know, this is going to be up on Thursday, so we can basically skip the commons. But on Friday to Saturday, Diplodocus, which I definitely need, 
um, Giga, in Morus, Intrepidus, and the Scorpion. You know what? It, I might do... I mean, it's 12 attempts. I could probably go for six each. I don't think I need... You know what I do need? Diplodocus is one of those that's very hard to dart, though, which is a bit of a shame because it goes from head to tail, like tip of the tail, so it's like proper swinging around. So I might do a couple of darts in Diplodocus. Uh, Sunday is Rexy or the Parasaur Lux. So at this point in the in the meta, I would say Rexy because uh, you very rarely see Paratops. And the 24 attempts on the Monday to Tuesday is Albertosaurus. Octo something. I don't know. The 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 big Irish deer and Quetzal. Out of all those, it's up to you. Whatever you're going for. Maybe I might go for Albertosaurus just to get the Alberta Servia up just in case. But pretty much, it's up to you. Yeah. Uh, out of all of those dinosaurs, I would suggest going for the obviously the Plodocus or Scorpion and the Rexy, because Rexy is a limited dinosaur that you can only get by basically buying incubators or buying the scents. Out of all of them, maybe the Sarko. Yeah, you know what? We'll, we'll switch out the Sarko. Let's see if we can get some battles with Geminidus. Okay, here we go. Will we get Geminidus? Oh, heck yeah. Oh, oh, do we put it in first? I'm not going to put it in first. You know what? I'm going to I'm going to try with the the T-Rex. Oh, maybe I should dart T-Rex actually. Yeah, cuz I need Rex DNA for this thing. Oh. Ooh, here we go. It does have a priority this thing though. That's the only thing. Oh, that goes through everything? Ooh, yes. So, we don't go through cloak. Um we do also take the damage reduction. It doesn't do too much damage. Okay, it does a lot of damage. Um, so we're gonna do 1,000, or maybe a little bit higher. Oh, yes, there it is. Now, I don't think we're in jeopardy of being killed in one hit. Actually, maybe we are. Uh, ha. Huh. Well, we can't do anything. If he's smart, he will go for his priority. And hope you get the crit. Oh, he didn't! Why didn't he do that? Oh, oh that's why. Because I, I, yeah, oh dear. <laughs> Oh, but what's really good is that he can no longer heal. Uh, he is quicker. Uh, we do get that. And I'm kind of okay taking that loss. I'll take it. I'll take it. He can't swap out. He's going to have to commit to killing me. And there's the alert surge. Well done. Well done. Okay, but now you're dead. No matter what happens here, you're dead. And you're taking a big hit here. If you swap, you're dead. If you go for a priority... I mean, you may as well go for your priority, because at least you're going to do some damage. And then, depending on what other dinosaurs you have... Maybe. Does it still have dodge? Wait. wait. I was going to say, please go for that, yeah. <laughs> please tell me you're at least going to do something. Right. It doesn't matter. I'm pretty sure it's dead. We get extra attack, and boom! Didn't even get through the dodge there. Oh, maybe I didn't get through the dodge last time with that roll. That's why he survived. Maybe. Maybe that's why he survived. Damn. Compsoraptor is a tough nut to crack. Like. It's a ref! What's the... Well, the ref's probably going to go for his priority, right? And do 4,000. He's hoping to get the crit. If he gets the crit here, uh, I pretty much lost. Let's see. He's going to go for it. Does he get the crit? 20%. Doesn't get the crit. Uh, oh, yeah. I bleed, don't I? Oh, dear. Oops. Oh, this is not so good. <laughs> oh, a giant hit. There it is. Now, I'm going to take a bleed hit before, and I think that's probably going to be enough to kill me. Oh, it's not! I survived! Fantastic! Oh, that's... Okay. Now we'll swap out. Now we'll swap out. I kind of... Because I'm, I'm unsure how good Gemini this is. Maybe I could have switched in here? Because I do get the counter, and I do hit him. Uh, but I know that this is probably my safest. Because, yeah, he'll go for his biggest hit. And then next turn, I cleanse myself. Uh, I put the bleed on him. And he's pretty much dead. There's nothing he can do unless he swaps out. Uh, the only worry, I guess, is... <gasps> Gemini Titan's probably really good at taking on Dio. I knew he'd probably switch in a Dio. Yes! Okay, so all I need to do is just focus on the time when he's going to go for a heal and swap in Gemini Because I can just get super high armor. And yeah, this, this is normally what happens with a battle. You'll have... Dio and D the Draco, and they just freaking swap backwards and forwards over and over again. So, he's probably going to go for his regular hit. He could probably go for a heal. I just need to suss him out. It might take a while. Okay, okay. I think he'll probably go for a regular heal next turn. I think he will. 
Stunning Rampage. It's going to do a fair amount of damage. He has to go for a heal now. I'm pretty sure he has to. Um, and if he does, it's not so bad for me because I will cleanse and I won't kill him, actually. Chances of him going for his biggest hit now, knowing I have a shield. Uh, yeah, he's not going to. I'm going to swap out to Gemini. Here it is! Will he go for a heal? Yeah, I thought so, buddy. I thought so. Yeah. Right, okay. Now, if I was level 30 and I had boosts on, I think it would be a no-brainer. He's pretty much dead. Um, so, Harden. I could go for Harden and increase my armor for four attacks, two turns. So, yeah, let's do that. He's going to go for his biggest hit. I do cleanse myself. I give myself a massive amount of armor. He does a lot of damage. That's the only thing. Um, increase armor, yeah! So now my armor is at 90%. You can't touch this. However, I don't know if I have anything to really uh, uh, kill him. I don't have enough attack, and he's just going to heal over and over, isn't he? Uh, I could slow him down and then go for the big hit there. Uh, yeah, let's see. If I was him, I'd go for a heal. I, I kind of just wanted to try this. So he's reducing my attack. This is the best thing he can do. Wow, he's only doing 300 damage. Oh, there's that hit. He does have his regular heal. However, he's now going to be slowed. And he doesn't have his overduced damage as well. Is he still faster? I think, yeah, he's still faster. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Oh, if I had some boosts on, I could have killed him now. Ah, oh, that's a bugger. Um... I mean, I guess I could go for this one and just reduce his attack. Yeah. Oh, no, he had it. Uh, I just... I like how after this update, they still have not fixed Dio. It's still just as annoying as it ever was to take on. Oh, no. I think we've lost. It's... I mean, I could have stayed in and had the Draco. Oh, no. That's annoying. Um, I mean, what can my T-Rex go for? I'm going to do 4,400... If I get a crit here, he's dead. I mean, what he could do now is swap out. If he's clever, he would just swap out and I, I, I have to hit him and die. Uh, so if that is the case, I'm going to swap to Draco here. Expecting him to pull that. That would be a big brain move. He didn't even do it! He had, he had a sure victory there and he didn't do it! What?! Yeah, okay. Like, it just shows that this guy isn't thinking. He's just like, oh, well, Dio, I just go for hit, hail, heal. Hit, heal, heal. That's all I do. He had an opportunity to win there. But his brain is so set in the mindset of like, oh, well, you have Dio. You just heal, heal, attack. And I'm going to win, right? Like, I could have killed him there by going for roll. And a 40% ch chance there to, uh, to do a lot of damage. But no, no. Didn't think of it because people who use Dio are stupid. <laughs> so, uh, I have been now in this battle for what is probably 20 minutes. So basically, this isn't even my fault. This is his fault for using a Dio. And it's technically not his fault. It's Ludia's fault for even allowing Dio to be able to do this. But basically, there is two turns in which I can be hit and die. However, he has one turn in which he uses a move to not heal. Um, he's basically just cycling heal, attack, heal, attack, heal, attack, heal, attack. What I do is attack, shield, heal. Attack, shield, heal. So there's two attacks where I do not heal myself. However, there's basically every other attack this thing heals. And not only, not only does it heal on those attacks, but it also does a counter if it gets hurt, which increases its speed. So, oh, oh my God, I did not even realize. Apparently, you can only do a battle for like 20 minutes before it decides, yeah, that's it. <laughs> the longest battle you could ever do and it's just like yeah enough of that that's fine <laughs> all right come on then let's let's hopefully we get gemini this again and we can use it and we do i'm putting it out first sort of it's going out first maybe they'll probably put out you know uh, uh, a flock and we can see how good it is against that or they can put out you ah that's a bit of a bugger because i cannot heal hmm hum I mean, I, I guess I could do this. Oh, a swap. Ooh, against an Anklos Lux. This is going to be interesting. Ooh. 
right, okay. I mean, if my Gemini just had more attack, more health, I probably would have been able to kill that Dio, but I didn't, of course. So, how come it's lost health? Oh, oh, that's interesting. His counter went straight through all of my armor. What the hell just happened to the, the, the special reduce armor damage thing that I've got? Well, that's not very fair. Why? <laughs> oh, yeah, by the way, that thing we've got that, you know, you, you, you... So, is it supposed to be, like, do dinosaurs have things that reduce armor? As far as I'm aware, I don't know if anything has that. Interesting. Must be a new thing. Okay. Okay. You know what? Whatevs. Whatevs. That... I just thought that was a unique thing to do with Gemini Titan. Well, I'm glad we sorted that out, and it is not the case. Right, uh, we'll just go for a big hit here. I mean, if I was him... Oh, okay. Oh, I didn't even get the crit. Sweet, cool. So, Geminidus is probably even worse than I, what I thought it was. Ah, okay, cool. <laughs> I thought what separated it was the fact that you cannot reduce its armor. And that way, you'd probably have to rely on bleeds or another way uh, to take it out. But apparently not. So, that's interesting. Uh, okay, so... Well, it's even worse than I thought it was, I suppose. Uh, we might as well go for a Devour, because he's probably going to go for his... Um... Ooh, actually, does it have armor? Oh, it doesn't have armor. Okay. I was going to say, if it did have, or like a, an invincibility, you could probably just swap out. But there you go. It did some damage. I will get some health back. It's not a great deal, but it probably puts me to like 4,900, I think. Oh, here it comes. Here's the rev. Yes. Beautiful. Now, Ref does have a lot of bleed that it can do. Um, so, what's... I mean, I'm... <laughs> it's a bit tricky. Uh, I mean, Ge apparently Gemini just is rubbish, so I might as well just put it in there. It'll need the extra health. It'll need... Oh! Oh, he was saving. That's interesting. Oh, yeah. There you go. There's some damage, and I've increased me armor. Yes, to 40%. Um, I guess it, I guess it does have the bleed. Oh, he got a crit. Oh, oh, hold up. Hold the phone. I might actually get 100% armor here. And then he would need to have the, um, what is it? Ankylos Lux come in. Oh, let's have a look. I've got 100 econ touches. Oh, wow. That is interesting. Uh, I, do I cleanse myself? Yes. Yes. Beautiful. Okay. So, how long does that last for? I've got armor for one turn. So, pretty much, no matter what he does here... Oh, I want him to attack me. He won't. He'll switch to Ankylos Lux and get the invincibility. So, considering that, I'm just going to go... Oh! Wait a minute. Does that go through armor? Oh! Wait, no. Paratops does. That's right. Ha-ha! <laughs> Take that! And another one. Get ready! Priority. Oh, it's a priority. And invincibility. Ha <laughs> ha. Bam. And I might be able to kill it with a swap. It. Oh, no. There it is. <laughs> Whoopsie daisies. Right. So because it didn't come in with a revenge, it can't go for its instant priority. So that's very good. Oh, this is actually a tighter game than I thought it would be. Gemini just didn't do too bad there, especially against a ref. Yeah, it's a good counter for ref because it'll get the 10% plus its armor, and then it can't do anything. So now... Ooh. Ooh, what do we do? Uh, we'll just go for a regular hit, yeah. We'll save our bleed in case we need it. We'll save our hitting everything in case a flock comes in. And we've got to swap out just in case something comes in that we don't want to face. So, unless he's swapping again to Anklos Lux, which would be a big brain play... Oh, that's a shame. That's a sh I thought that was it. I thought, because he would have, he would have made me hurt myself, but then he would have been locked in and I would have been able to easy kill him. So we actually won Geminidas, put a stop to refs like rampage. Um, and I'm able to cleanse myself of anything. And I'm just going to do a huge amount of damage, like crazy. Oh, I thought, I thought that was it. It's not, however. So, I mean, what's worst case scenario? Can I be stunned by... I could be. I could be. But pretty much, that's it. Yeah, there we go. Boom. Oh, wow. Okay. What a rollercoaster. Like, oh, Japanese is rubbish. Oh, it's really good. Oh, yes. 
<laughs> wow, okay, that was a good use of Geminitis. I'm glad we could end it on somewhat of a high note and not have that, like, 20-minute battle we just had. <laughs> Brilliant. Anyway, guys, well, I mean, we'll be back probably later today to check out the other pass and uh, maybe I'll boost Geminitis a little bit more and maybe make it useful. I don't know. Maybe we'll level up uh, Stego, Spinosaurus, whatever it is, to level 30. Because I, I just kind of want to use that thing. It looks awesome. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, guys, leave a like. And until next time, I'll see you cuties later. Bye-bye. <gasps>